A lot of people who got out of Louisiana ahead of Hurricane Ida ended up taking shelter here in Jackson. Tonight, many of them are in limbo as they wait to return home. 12 News' Jalen Level spoke with a number of evacuees here in Jackson. If you drive past hotels like this one downtown, it's very likely for you to see an increase in Louisiana tags as many have evacuated New Orleans. Lord willing, yeah, we'll be out of here by then and on our way back home. You can hear the frustration in Allen Robinson's voice. He's one of many that traveled to Jackson for a safe place. I just hope that, uh, that things can get back up and running as quickly as possible, that like the power grid can be repaired quickly, the transmission lines can be put back up, and uh, people can get their, their power back and you know, get back to their lives. For many, information about what's happening is limited, and connections are interrupted in New Orleans and its surrounding suburbs, leaving most without power after the powerful hurricane slammed into the Louisiana coast on Sunday. My grandparents need a lot of medical attention. So it was either throw them into a hospital that's going to lose power anyway, or get them somewhere safe where we have electricity and air conditioning and, you know, all of that stuff available. So, I mean, I, I really, to me, I didn't have a choice. You know, I have to take care of my family, and that's, that's why we left. Monday, New Orleans officials advised evacuees to stay out of the city for the time being as work crews continue to clean up the damage. One man says he and his family would travel to Florida to seek shelter. Others have a different plan. Right now, we plan everything by ear. You know, see what happens. Hopefully, you know, that he's wrong. You know, and we can get back and get back to our normal life as, as soon as possible. A wish many would love to see sooner than later. Jalen Level, 12 News.